Hello everybody and welcome back to Ocarina Time Randomizer. And welcome to the bottom of the well. Just gonna dump these guys. Kind of a cruddy place to dump them in, but I'm sure they'll manage. Might as well just free up the bottle space after all. We don't need the... I don't know, that's the truth. I know what I'm doing here. Anyways, like I said, I know what I'm doing here. Whatever. Yeah, you can squeeze through that. Yeah, we can talk to the dead. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're, sa they're saying. I, I suppose I should put my tracker be in the right place. Yeah, I I fortunately have done this enough times though that I know where I'm going and what I need to do. This is probably the only Zelda game that I actually know that. Link to the Past, Wind Waker, I can probably wing it. Because I've done enough Link to the Past randomizers and Wind Waker I grew up with, like this game. As there's other games, I would have to just entirely hope that I have a good tracker or, um, I guess I have to this. So fortunately, that's, that's the thing that's working out for me, Twilight Princess. It's just, uh, the Twilight Princess has a wiki for, like, for the randomizer. That gives you a little bit of detail, not, sometimes not as much detail as I need, so it's still a little bit confusing. And I have has a, some good trackers, like map trackers, which don't really give you enough detail for the for the uh, dungeons, but for the overworld. It's definitely helping me so much. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Okay. It's more of the same. But I've never 100%ed. Um. I've never 100%ed on Mario Time before. Not the Twilight Princess before. So, I honestly have zero clue on what I'm doing at any given moment. Because I've only been in the game once, for the record. Because me and my, my sister both got stuck at different parts. I got stuck on trying to figure out what the heck to do with the reek, or to figure out how to get the reek fish. She got stuck in the sky temple. Oh yeah, I suppose we should have talked to them. Water flowing out of the statue is flooding the entire floor. I thought you actually said something about that. Nope. I suppose not. Um, I suppose I can get this now. And I should probably also start marking things off. And yeah, my sister got stuck in the sky temple. So, I, neither of us finished the game, and then there was just like one day that I just chose to go through the entirety of the game. And frankly, Playing Hill in one sitting, uh, casually was- I'm hitting the wrong button. I was hitting X to throw out the boomerang. I started. Frankly, going through all of it in one sitting was not the best idea. I'm doing this for the record to show you that there's pits in this room. Cause my uh, my way of doing it is just hug the left wall, get the chest, head to like where the Bemos is, and then go straight towards the door. And it works. It's not the most accurate description of what the heck to do, but it's good. And it gets you where you need to be. But yeah, and even when I did beat Twilight Princess, I did not 100% it. I just had, like, I beat the game and then I was just done with it. Especially after wasting an entire hour because the game 
uh, there's a moment in time where you're supposed to show someone an item. And I was like, oh, it's probably this person that I gotta show the item to. Didn't work. Spent an hour trying to figure out what to do with the item that I was just given. That was very clearly story related. Eventually, I tried it a second time with the same person. It worked. And from that point on, I was just fed up with the game and actually trying to beat it. And just to get done with. Uh, Twitch. I... I own the Wii version. The randomizers for the game version. Switch on. But I honestly prefer, I think, the GameCube version. Just because I don't have to deal with motion controls. And I'm used to GameCube controller from playing Smash Bros, this, Wind Waker, and plenty of other GameCube games. Not that I didn't grow up with the Wii also, but I prefer the GameCube controller. Over any of or for other controllers. My sister controllers are alright. Oops. Because I just hit the A button with my desk. Uh, what other chests have I gotten? I got that one. Open that door. I haven't been marking a single thing down on the tracker this whole time. I got that stuff. Back over here. Uh, we might as well just jump down here and get this now. Okay, so far though, I've enjoyed Twilight Princess again. I will say, I will probably never do a Skyward Sword uh, randomizer. I just don't care for Skyward Sword. Which... I can't keep saying that. Uh, most of the reason why I don't like it is also say hello to Dead Hand. Watch out for its infinite hands. Aim for its head. But yeah, no. like one of the biggest reasons would be the motion control, which you can't really fault the game for that one. That is just the era that it was made was for the Wii. So it's going to have motion controls. It, it can't help it that the Wii motion controls can honestly kind of suck a whole lot. But the amount of times that it disconnected because I'm just a dumb kid, probably middle school actually, uh, swinging the controller at just way too fast for it to stay calibrated. Uh, like, it, it was just frustrating, because it just never stayed the same. So anything motion control related, where it's like, oh no, specifically swing the sword in this direction, which is the entire gimmick of that game, never worked for me. Not a single time. I can't even remember if I actually beat the game or if I gave up. I think... I might have beaten the game. I at least got really far through it. I know that much. I think I did beat the game eventually. I was only renting it for Family Video. I never actually like owned it. I didn't even own uh, Motion Control Plus. That was also being rented for Family Video. Like when you rent the game, they ask you if you uh, need to borrow their Motion Control Plus for the Wii Remote. We get oh beans. We got beans. Which in the randomizer automatically gives you all ten. So I guess we could go around planting the ones we need to plant. Majority of them are not required. Because like a few of them are just shortcuts, and then some of the ones that do actually get you items, you can get in other methods. It's just Death Mountain Crater. But like, Zora Forever, that's a shortcut. The one in the next to the bridge in the Lost Woods is a shortcut. We still
still need bombs. Uh, I don't think we need sticks anymore. Well, now we do. We need too many items. Oh! What do we got? Okay. I suppose that's... Alright. Hello. You know what? You're having this bomb. Also, stay stunned. Well, it didn't really stun you, but you are dead anyway. <laughs> Around. We open our last locked door. Other thing was like, I don't know. I just, I just didn't enjoy Skyward Sword even without the motion control, which definitely influenced how much I could enjoy it. But I just didn't care for some of the things. Especially certain sections of the game. I don't even really know what the sections are called. Like the weird spirit sections where you're collecting the bunch of thingy bobbers. Like specifically for the the volcano place. I don't know the name of the locations for that game. Um, like doing it for that section or for that area. I spent so long going around in a circle for like ages. It was such a pain. Alright, you made a gap. Oh, what did it count? And when I say ages, I mean I probably spent like an hour. Or maybe longer. Just not actually losing or failing the section. But just not getting the things that were collecting the things. Kept missing it on the stupid slide. Over and over again. Which was just very frustrating. Just turn this on. Alright, we got this way. Alright, let's just look at the map tracker and also the compass that we have. Really? Another important check, huh? I mean, alright. Nice. We got some purple golden gauntlets. Alright then. We do got to fall down here, I'm pretty sure it is. Because there's a bunch of free sand rupees that we can get from this. Which didn't get us very much, but it's fine. Hey, stop that. I will say, though, it is weird to me that Twilight Princess requires five pieces of a heart to get a heart container. Because, I mean, I think the norm is four. Could be wrong. I haven't played, like, a lot of Zelda games, like, older ones. Because I've never played Where am I going? Like, I've never played, like, Minish Cap or Oracle of Ages and Seasons, I think is what those two are. Also, I think you can reflood the, the well, if you're wondering. I'm not confident in that. I'll try it out when we go to leave. But I think you can reflood it. Either way, we need our, uh... Oh, we don't need the Blunt of Truth anymore. We do need this. Hello, Gibdo. Bye, Gibdo. Stop it, Gibdo. I have coffins to open, thank you very much. So there's this one. It has some keys in it. Gosh, stop using the torch against me. Wait, did I open the right one? I didn't. Sorry, I don't, I don't know the free standing rupees in the bottom of the well. I've only done this once. I just know that this is the key and that's all. It's everything I know. So, which coffin am I opening here? 
this is the wrong one. Um, let's open this one? Yeah. I opened this one. The other one I opened is a Gipto. <laughs> Mark off the five freestanding rupees. Yep, there we go. Another location fully cleared. And just for the heck of it, let's go see if we can, uh. If we can refill the area with water. Yeah, leave the area as it was when we came in. Oh, maybe not. Then we gotta figure out where we go next. Okay, well, you actually can't. Oh, what do you say? The wall says something here. Danger below. That's what it says. You right? Sorry, I had to know. I had to confirm my suspicions and I didn't feel like putting on the lens of truth. Even though that would have been faster than climbing all the way back up. Oh well. Too late now. I've made my decision. I gotta live with it. Uh anything we got close to Tech Rico that we can go do as a kid? Or we just leave. I suppose I could always just warp song out. Like Kylie, have we got anything there? Yeah, I should probably just check the warp song locations. Actually, I think I just did. I think I did just actually cut through all that. So. Nope, be gone. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I think this works. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can get that grotto as an adult, it's fine. What we can't get is to check the happy mass salesman. Oh gosh, darn it. So we do have a decent amount of Song of Storm grottos that we do have to check now. Whenever we get sorry a song, we also unlock a bunch of stuff that we gotta go play. That's not until later. Whoops. Clicked off the emulator. Whoops. <laughs> Minimize all the ads. Hello. Here's the 30 rupees of payment. Please give me this. Why can't I get that? Can I get this? I can. I suppose the one on the far right is the Mask of Truth? I... I don't know. I mean, I think that is the Mask of Truth spot, but... And, uh, I just ain't got a clue. What I do know... Is that... We can go all the way over to the Hyrule Castle again. And finally get that Skulltor that's been waiting there. For like two million years. Oh wait, also gossip stone. We can talk to them now. They say that, that the Requiem of Spirit can be found in Goron City. Well, that's not stone number one marked off. Odds of them giving us actual helpful information this late into the run? Probably not likely. But hey. 
Might as well. Might as well see. Is that the piece hard? It's not in the graveyard. Free money from doing this too. Oh, come on, come on. Gossip stone down there. Thank you. And back down we go. Uh, do I have the gossip stone? No. This one have the gossip stone? Yes. This is the one with the gossip stone. They say that melon obstacle course leads to an ice trap. Oh, great. Really out of the way check is gonna freeze us. Try to murder us. Either way, I think that's pretty much it for kit checks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it for kit checks. Alright then. Oh, we can actually finally get to the forest temple, I just realized. We still don't have the bow. I don't even know if we got enough keys for it, but at least we have access to it now. No, we're missing one key. And you do actually need every key in the forest temple. Unlike fire temple, unlike, uh... Water temple. You actually do need every single key that there is. Uh, they say that a cow behind webs and a grotto gifts Deco nuts, five pieces. Oh no, I didn't actually talk to the right one, apparently. They say that plundering the desert colossus is a false choice. Which means that there's nothing there. Never give up, trust your instincts. They say that showing the flame check to Big Gorn rewards a deck of shield. That's a shame. But oh well. Oh yeah, I forgot we got to big go at some point in time. I will get there eventually. Oh, you know what? No, we do still have some trial checks left. I forgot, we need to still, uh... Play songs for the frogs, but we still missing song time. Sorry, I didn't a song. Can't quite get there yet. But we can do that with the golden gauntlets. So that's fun. That means we can go get this fairy, who is usually, I think, double defense? And it's pretty late game double defense too, like specifically, only boss you can fight with double defense is Ganon. Because you get gold gauntlets from that building right over there. Uh, do I remember Minuet of the Forest? No, I don't. No, I don't. My brain went to the Serenade of Water, which is not correct. But you know what? Remembering all but one, I'll take it. Oh yeah, I guess I never showed off the fact that you can... Oops, I didn't mean to replay it. I never showed off the fact that you can play the song here by hitting A on it. 
and it'll give you a little practice. I knew it had a lot of lefts and rights, I just did not remember what it was. I got the up? I guess I could have assumed that it had a... Really, Sheik? You're just gonna try to murder me? Just got here! Alright then. Let's go ahead and get our, uh... Grotto done. Alright, money back. Money taken away. Money back. Money taken away. Alright then. Hey, where is the beehive in this one? Right over there. Gotcha. Oh, there's 74 tokens. Only 26 left in the game. Now this is more like it. This is the kind of... Uh, Skulltool account that I've used to have it before beating the game in the randomizer. They say that a green ruby can be found in Death Mountain Crater. Well, you're not wrong. There are pods and stuff there. So, hi, you. I can reach you with the long shot, right? Oh, that only stuns you. Oh. Two empty bottles with their names on it. I'll see why not. Having a little bit of a safety net never hurts. Although, I guess I could use one of these bottles to get like a green potion instead. That'd probably be pretty, uh, convenient in and of itself. I never marked off the rumble pack. There we go. I can even get rumble. Hey, no rumble feature on. Well, I'll have no rumble feature set up for the emulator. Oh, hey, what song is that? It's on time. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. So I can guess off the color. <laughs> See, that's, that's one that's actually pretty different than other ones. Especially when you got all the warp songs already. They say that winning the treasure chest game rewards a gold skull token. Have we cheated that game yet? I don't think we did, did we? Wait, did we actually not? Sonic Time is helpful though. That means we can actually finish the fire temple. Like, entirely finish the fire temple. Seriously though, but did, did, did I actually forget that? Let me check my tracker. Oh yeah, I did. I guess we could have done that while it was night. Aw, oh, you're kidding. No, tell me that again. They say that catching big pose leads to a wallet. At least I know I don't need to do it. But it does suck. Also, if you're wondering what the heck these guys do. They just casually stab the heck out of you and murder you. Like so. Okay, 
can't target them either. And also when they aggro onto you, uh, they don't really take hit. At least from my experience, they don't. Yes. Oh. I forgot. I don't have the, the setting where they automatically just show up. This is something I've recently learned about, though. Like, in recent runs. By mistake, too. Entirely by mistake. Found out that... Uh... Pierre shows up there. Which... Now knowing that, is super nice. We gotta go ahead and do this, because... Oh, I forgot to plant beans. Wait, why aren't you from here? What do you got to say? They say the Gerudo Valley is on the way of the hero. You're right. You're definitely not wrong. And away we go. This here is... Another Song of Storm Grotto for us. They say that Death Mountain Trail is on the way of the hero. Alright then. I did not see what that was, but that looked like something different. It didn't look like rupees. Stick. Alright, oh hey! That's something! Hey! Double defense! Your defensive power has been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. Sweet. That's all I can do in this forest. Let's go back to Death Mountain Crater, even though we don't have anything in there. We do still have, uh... Well, I guess we have the fire temple. But I want to real quickly go back to the Boron City and... Get the, uh... Grotto outside. Oops. We might as well. It's right here. Not too slow to get to. And, you know, that's your average grotto thing. Oh, well, here's. Excuse me? That's just rude rock. Here's your, uh. Sample of another spot that for some reason loses textures. I'm not sure why. Excuse me. Sorry. Had to sneeze. <laughs> Death Mountain Trail. Where is it on this track? There it is. Got our one. Okay, recovery heart. A two. Gold rupee and a three. All right then. Hey, what you got to say for us? They say that Fire Temple hoards Spirit Temple small key. All right then. Wait. There we go. And I guess that'll do it for this episode of uh. Ocarina of Time. I know it was. Oh no, we did bottom of the well in this episode, right? I already forgot. But. That's fine. We also have max out bombs, by the way. Gotta wind that up, too. We do have all the bomb upgrades now. But I guess next time we can actually finish up with the Fire Temple. See you all then. Bye bye.